Well, hello. <laughs> I'm here with uh, some uh, trailer hitch pins that I picked up. Um, now, I've seen three styles. Well, they're all basically hitch pins, but I mean three styles of locks, locking mechanisms for these. One is like the uh, you know, pin tumblers or wafers, you know, the regular key cuts. Then you got your uh, your tubular uh, with the barrel key uh, type. And I, I think uh, Lockpicking Lawyer did one of those, uh, Trimax, I believe. And then uh, there's this. Yeah. Dimple. Dimple lock. Yeah. So I thought, eh, I like dimples. You know, I don't pick them very much. I barely even get them picked, you know. I'm new at it. Uh, so I thought, hey, you know, I know how to get into the tubular and I know how to get into the those, but these I have a little trouble with. So I thought I'd try it out and see how well these were made. And I watched a video on this. This one they say isn't very good. This one's better. It's about average uh, for strength of everything. Um, but I picked this one the other day. Now that's See, I pulled the whole little rubber ring off of there. Picked this one the other day, and uh, the problem was I, I actually got it picked. And if you see that, if you can see that first pin right there, it's stuck up at shear line right now. I cannot get that back out of shear line. Now, the lock still works. Uh, if I can get my key to go in, I. I you butt go in a hole. <laughs> uh, key still works. It's just that now it's not a five pinner anymore. It's a four pinner. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you the thing that I was wondering if I could pick it is because of this. Watch this key. It's spring loaded. You got to you got to overcome that spring action to pick it. Uh, and I've never had a dimple lock that was spring loaded before, so that's why I was wondering about it. Um, uh, anyway, but this works off the same key. We're going to pull that off. And we're going to try to pick this one now. If I mess this one up, oh well, I'll just buy something else. <laughs> but, uh, this does the same thing, and when you open it, it's key retaining. Um, you have to put the pin in to uh, get it to lock back. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up in a vise and I'll be right back. Okay, we're set up now. Let's uh, see about getting this tensioned and pick at it. Uh, yeah, that moves. Okay. All right. Uh, I got a little flag here. Uh, now I'm going to put some tension on it. <laughs> and maybe not all tension, but see if I can get anything to pop. Unless I just overset everything, I think I might have. Let's go back. I don't even feel the pins now. Okay. Wow. And there we go. We got her. I actually got it picked. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, and that stays locked open. As you can see, it's locked open. Let's put the bar back in. There it is. I actually did it. Wow. So, as you can see, if I'm such an amateur at this stuff, that's not hard to defeat. I don't have one of those um, sets of uh, rakes for these things. I'd like to get one just to 
try them on stuff like this see how fast it would get into it but yeah um, there we go it, it I don't feel that it's much different with the spring tension as without it so uh, thanks for watching everybody uh, stay legal and have fun bye